Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, you owe me money. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with the Tim Ali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't- welcome, welcome, my friends. Great to be with you guys in another edition of Game Changer, where you become the game changer of your posterity, your lineage for your family, your children, children's children. And I'm grateful that you're here watching and listening. So if you're watching on YouTube, right, subscribe, hit the like button. And if you're listening on another platform, go leave us a review, rate us and give us some stars that helps get the message out. All right. Cool thing is, right, I had a a young lady working for our organization. Phenomenal team member, right? Uh, Super valuable, like over the top, overachieving. She did so much for us. And there came a point in time where she was ready to go move on to the next step of her life. It was amazing. So she walks in, we have this powerful conversation and like, it was literally a couple of days before the end of the month. So I was like, okay, cool, man. I love this. Didn't give me a two weeks notice, but she's a little young and she's still learning. It was great. It, it worked out fantastic. Well, that was like uh, a month ago. And so it's crazy, right? We, we had a transition with a couple team members on our team and our person running payroll that we then hired someone else to do the payroll. There was an assumption made, right? Again, I didn't even know what was going on with it because I know it's my company, but again, I have my team members who handle these things. Well, we missed the latter part of getting her her paycheck. We missed it. We There was an assumption made. I, I thought we were good as well. So, couple weeks goes by and then she comes and asks and she says, Hey, uh, am I going to get my final paycheck? And of course she talks to the new person. The new person talks to me and I'm like, and you know, our new team members asking me, well, do we owe it? I mean, how does this work? Long story short, we were in the wrong. So we processed the payroll. I shoot her a message and I'm like, Hey, that's on us. You'll get your final paycheck and we'll be we'll com- complete and clear. And then she shoots me a message back and she says, ah, I, was, I felt bad asking. Imagine this, like you, you work hard for a company, the company owes you a paycheck or like someone says they're going to pay for something for you. And then it ends up being that they don't pay you for whatever reason. Maybe it's, it's an accident. Maybe it's intentional. Whatever the reason, I owed this person money. And I shot a message back to my team member, my former team member. I said, hey, listen, never be afraid to ask for what is rightfully yours. Now, why is this this message in this podcast today, right? You owe me money. Why is this so important? Because the significance is she was owed something. It was hers. And she was afraid to ask for what was hers. For whatever reason, we as human beings have make up these stories and make up these things to go ask. And, and I've learned this with human beings, right? They don't want to ask. We don't want to ask. I like to ask. Principle number six in the 13 principles is ask and receive. So what's the real lesson here? Don't be afraid to ask for what belongs to you, right? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go make a request of someone who said they would come through for you. If you take a good look at this lesson across the board, right? Really the root cause of not asking is fear. Fear is a liar. Fear is a destroyer and fear prevents people from really going to the next level. So I just take a look at your life right now, right? You're like, I would, of course I would ask. Well, maybe it's not a paycheck, but maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something else in a relationship or in a business or with health and fitness. Or even I remember the gym, uh, the gym that I'm a part of. I remember this. They had overcharged me a couple months, like a, a good amount. And there was a small, t- tiny piece of me that was like, ah, man, I got to go ask these guys to refund my car. And I remember for a brief second, I had that thought like, oh, man, I got to go ask them. I'm like, dude, that's my money. They owe me. So wherever you're at, in whether you're in school or you're in business or you're with your family, if your parents have said something to you, if your spouse, if your employer, your employee, if someone has told you or they owe you and it's yours... Why would you ever let fear stop you from going and getting what is yours? Why would you let fear get in the way of you asking for what is owed to you? Because fear is a liar. Now, I love that we were able to come through for our our team member, but right, the lesson is very clear. If it is yours, go get it. If it is owed to you, go ask for it. If it belongs to you, go make the request to get it back right. That's what a game changer does. A game changer is not afraid to ask. 
A game changer is not afraid to ask. And if they are afraid, they ask anyways. They just go make the request to go get what is there. So if you take a look at your life right now, if there's something that's yours, if there's something that belongs to you, if there's something that's owed to you and you don't want to step on anyone's toes and you're afraid you might rub them the wrong way or, or hurt their feelings, that's nonsense. That's actually a weak, very weak inner stance. And the powerful way to do it is to actually just go and get what is yours. So take a look at your life. If there's someone who owes you something, if there's something that was done to you that needs to be cleaned up, like go and make the request. It was a significant amount of money uh, for this young lady to, to not go get what belonged to her. And I promise you, if you'll develop this habit of asking, of making the request, of having nothing about making the request to go get what is yours, you'll actually have a, a way better life because most people are just afraid. They don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to ask. They don't want to make the request. They don't want to go get the table. They don't want to get the food they really want. They just kind of settle. Life is too short to settle for that. Hey guys, if the podcast resonates, if it touches your heart and soul and it gives you greater vision and clarity to go build the life you want so you can make a difference inside of your world, your family's world, and the community itself, all I ask that you do is share the podcast forward. We don't run ads. We don't have sponsors. But we can make a difference and help people become game changers for their lives, for their families, if we share the message. So share this with somebody who needs to hear it and have an amazing day. So that's the message today. Super short, super simple. If this has made a difference, go share it with somebody and go make the request to go get what is owed to you. Until next time, I'm out. Let's go. Uh -huh. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, heavy, get your pen up. Wanna be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.